Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. Now, today I wanted to talk about a couple of things. First off, I wanted to talk about a press release that Deloitte just released, where they said Deloitte trains more than 1,000 college students through its Salesforce boot camp, delivering an ongoing commitment to expanding talent in Salesforce ecosystem. Deloitte announced that to date, it has trained over 1,000 college students in Salesforce boot camps through the Deloitte Digital Salesforce Academy, DDSA. The program has hosted more than 30 boot camps at colleges across the United States to provide students with a foundation in Salesforce technology and an introduction to the world of consulting. So this is a consulting offering. And a quote that they had was, a few years ago, Deloitte recognized a gap between college students looking for day one job readiness in business and technology careers and the increasing need for talent within with Salesforce Smarts. And so we developed a non-traditional learning opportunity through Salesforce boot camps with the goal of making a huge impact by the end of 2021 and beyond, said Harry Datwani, who is a principal at Deloitte. And he said, we have surpassed our initial target with more than 1,000 students gaining Salesforce aptitude and have seen many go on to kick off meaningful careers within the Salesforce ecosystem. Uh, reading the rest of the press release, it says DDSA allows college students to explore Salesforce related careers, prepare for Salesforce certifications and gain skills and experience for entry level positions in the field. There are currently two offerings, a Salesforce bootcamp, which is a two part hands-on Salesforce training where students learn Salesforce fundamentals in a small classroom setting from Deloitte professionals preparing them from Salesforce Administrator Certification Exam. And then second is a Salesforce Career Journey, which is an introduction to Salesforce Consulting where students can explore career paths in the Salesforce ecosystem while learning firsthand career tips and tricks from professionals. Students can now apply to this virtual program that starts in February of 2022, which is this year. DDSA supports Deloitte in recruiting new consultants around the world, but they focus on creating diverse talent pools, thus growing the Salesforce ecosystem and strengthening Deloitte's alliance with Salesforce. And having hosted programs in more than six countries so far with plans to further expand in 2022, Deloitte expects a number of DDSA graduates to grow tenfold globally in the coming years. And by offering this non-traditional learning program, Deloitte Digital Salesforce boot camps have already helped participants launch careers in business and technology, often in the growing Salesforce ecosystem. Before attending the Salesforce boot camp, I knew very little about what a career in consulting would really look like, said Hunter Leonard Link, who is an analyst at Deloitte Consulting now. He also said, after participating, I had a clear understanding of not only core Salesforce knowledge, but also the culture, opportunities, and experiences at Deloitte Consulting. And this gave me the confidence to apply and ultimately receive an offer to join as an analyst at Deloitte. And DDSA Salesforce Bootcamp and the Salesforce Career Journey are open to all college and university students based in the U.S., regardless of school, year, or major. And Deloitte probably put this out because they want to recruit many people into this program. I mean, if you, if you paid attention to this podcast at all over the past few years, a lot of Deloitte's acquisitions recently have been all Salesforce related and a lot of them globally, like in Australia, they've been acquiring a lot, but they, they acquire them all over the world just because Salesforce is being used all over the world. Salesforce is a public company and they're one of the largest public companies. And a lot of companies use Salesforce, including the big four accounting firms, use it themselves, but they don't really use it the way other companies use it. Uh, the big four use Salesforce more because Salesforce is a client of theirs and they just kind of fix it into their program. But other companies are way better at using Salesforce and actually using it to gain sales. Where big four accounting firms, when you go work for them and use Salesforce internally, it's more of just an additional administrative requirement. But I think this is very good for for college students. Uh, it's obviously consulting because you're if you're in the regular accounting or tax program in the big four accounting firms, you're not really going to be consulting clients with Salesforce. And what I thought was really unique was that you didn't really have to have a specific major. So for your friends out there that aren't necessarily accounting majors, maybe you are an accounting major and you want to transition into consulting, then maybe getting into these boot camps 
would be a good way out of that. But I think this is a good thing for the big four accounting firms. I think they need to do it in accounting too, but I think for accounting, they need to teach kids in school Excel, like everything that Excel can do, everything that Microsoft softwares can do, everything that Alteryx, Tableau, all these things that are being utilized can do versus a bunch of useless stuff that kids learn in college and then doesn't even transition into the big four accounting firms where they need to have to learn it all within their first year you know, the accounting systems, ledgers, closing periods, everything like that. Uh, like the actual logistical inner workings of large public companies and their accounting systems versus just learning complete theory the whole time you're in accounting school. But I understand why they're doing it in Salesforce. And in Salesforce, it's probably better to do that so they don't have to acquire so many Salesforce consultancies because I think that's what they they were doing historically. And now they see an opportunity to recruit more people, but also teach people Salesforce before they join and get an edge in the Salesforce marketplace. But that's the update for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and check out the show notes for useful links. Thanks for listening.